Hello there, Wise Dragon here. If you watch my channel, you know I mostly talk gibberish and scream profanities while playing video games. FUCK THIS Fuck GAME! This shit. FUCK THIS GAME! <laughs> if you're new to the channel, you'll come to realise I mostly just talk gibberish and scream profanities while playing video games. But today I've decided to do something a bit more informative. I'll be talking about how to get your first 100 subscribers, because it's one of the hardest milestones to reach when you first start out here on the YouTubes. Plus I'll be doing a few shoutouts for a few channels I feel deserve 100 subscribers at the end, so stay tuned for those. But for now, let's talk shop. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you thought this was helpful in any way. I plan on doing more content like this in the future if you want to see it. So first things first, to pull people in and make them interested in what you're doing, you need to present your channel in an eye-catching way by having a good looking profile, icon and channel banner. If you stick with the defaults or simply have no brand design unique to you at all, people are gonna think you don't give a damn about your channel. There's plenty of ways in which you can go about this, and there's a lot of people on YouTube that'll help you out with submissions or requests for channel art. I've found that avatars with your likeness seems to be the most popular choice when it comes to presenting yourself to prospective subscribers, and a nice short intro helps out for your videos. Dubstep over shitty stock FX seems to be a popular choice. Ooh, that was a bit harsh. I got my channel icon designed by someone from a website called Fiverr.com. What I will say is if you're using pictures or templates from an online source, make sure they're not copywritten in any way. Other than that, if you want to design your own channel art from scratch, GIMP is a free downloadable software that has all the features of Photoshop. I'll leave links below if you want to check those out. Now that your channel's looking fly, you want to make your videos look just as appealing. Catchy titles and well-made thumbnails go a long way, but avoid clickbait and misleading information, because no one likes that shit. It might pull a few people in, but they'll realise you're a scumbag and promptly berate you in the comment section. Also, take a look at your analytics. It'll help you decide on when to upload your videos for the best view retention. Your video quality should be at a high standard because that's the staple nowadays, and anything below 720p is not gonna cut it, unfortunately. I tend to use an Elgato or a program called Action Morales when recording, and they both have a ton of features to get the best out of your footage. Your audio needs to be crisp and clear too. I'm still using a blue snowball and it's a relatively good mic, and audacity when it comes to recording, which is also a free bit of software you can download online. In summary, your video and audio quality need to be on point. When it comes to your content, you can practically upload anything so long as it's entertaining and there's some form of production value when it comes to editing. A good example of this is Grey Day Underay, who mostly uses MS Paint in his videos. You can tell he puts a lot of effort into his content. He's pretty hilarious too, I recommend you check him out. It's about being different and showcasing something unique, and I know that sounds rich coming from a guy who runs a gaming channel and talks over a first person shooter in the background, but I try to make other types of content too. What I'm trying to say is, be varied, because I can guarantee there's thousands of other channels out there that are already doing what you're doing. One of the biggest problems a lot of YouTubers have, myself included, is staying consistent and constantly active when it comes to content. I'm not the best at it, but I tend to upload videos as often as I can. If you maintain a schedule and upload at specific times, that helps too. The hard truth is, if you don't upload at least twice a week, you're not going to get anywhere. And if people feel as if you're not enthusiastic about what you're doing, they won't subscribe either. You won't spiral up the YouTube ladder overnight, or even after a few months, unless you spend a ton of money on view bots and engage in all that sub for sub bullshit. It's a slow grind when it comes to gaining subscribers that actually want to watch your content. But the rewards show when they stay as active as you are by commenting, liking and sharing your content with like-minded people. So you're uploading regularly, you've got a kick-ass looking channel and a bunch of subscribers. The final step is to promote your channel and get involved with the community you're representing. YouTube offers helpful tips when it comes to uploading videos and has some key features you'll want to add in post-production. Take advantage of annotations by reminding viewers to like and share your content and provide shortcuts to your channel page. Use cards to keep your viewer retention up by suggesting other videos to watch. And take advantage of the resources through the video manager menu like free music and the editing tools available. The YouTube Academy is also a great place to watch tutorials and offers a bunch of links to help you get your voice heard. Use other websites to gain exposure. You can promote your channel through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, although I hate Google+, Reddit, Tumblr and practically any other social media site. Spread the word about your goals, and without spamming to the 10th degree, plug your latest video on your profile. You'll find that there's a whole ton of YouTubers out there who are happy to help you out and share their thoughts on these platforms. Plus, and this is something I'm looking forward to stepping up in the future, look to collaborate with other YouTubers in a similar position. It's a win-win situation in the sense that you'll be making connections and broadening your fan base while making new friends along the way. I can't stress enough how positive the people I've met over the past few months have been. And if there is a bottom line, it's this. Be yourself. 
I know gaming channels are one of the most popular avenues to venture down on YouTube, but I don't purposely try to be an imitation. Even though I utilise the same format that most gaming channels follow and I probably conduct myself like a lot of the YouTubers I'm subscribed to. Even though following current trends and wanting to be like other YouTubers isn't necessarily a bad thing, in the long run I think creative individuality and unique personalities stand out way more. Because YouTube's a lot like being in high school. If you're not doing what everyone else is doing, you're not following the curve, and you won't get noticed, which is something a lot of people care about. So we act a certain way and try to fit in the best we can, even though in the long run, life teaches us to be different and true to ourselves. I guess this doesn't apply to everyone, but I'm always reminded of this analogy when I see awesome channels going unnoticed. I guess now's the time to dislike this video if I've offended your integrity, social status, or just think I'm a huge hypocritical asshole. All that being said, I want to take some time out to mention a few other channels that I'm subscribed to that I feel deserve over 100 subscribers. And as I've said in previous shoutouts, please don't be offended if I don't mention you or your channel. If you turned on your subscription notifications, that would be great, I'm just saying. And there's another tip for you. Plus, I swear I've had people unsubscribe because I didn't mention them or they didn't watch any of my content or even deserve a shout-out in the first place. And that's about as justified as Powell walking being in the Olympics. So let's start with Rude Boy Gaming. He plays retro games, horror games, indie games, and a few of the recent popular titles out there. So go check him out. Then there's Rational Gamers. These guys have some pretty neat ideas when it comes to ideas for series. Like Rapid Rundown, which is like a mini review of random games. And I've Not Played, which covers games that they haven't played yet. Obviously. It's well made and interesting to boot. So go check them out too. Dan Ninja is another channel that has some great ideas, including challenge videos that often enough require a lot of skill to pull off. He's pretty funny too, and for the quality of his videos, he deserves more of a following. Neck is another channel with high quality gameplays of some titles I've played and really enjoyed in the past, like Borderlands and the Left 4 Dead series. And he also has some guides too, so check that out also. Spiral Blitz Gaming is a channel that looks great and has some interesting gameplays, and a lot of his stuff's well edited. So head on over to his channel if you want to see some funny Rainbow Six Siege fails. BK Games is another great channel that plays a whole bunch of games, some I'd never even heard of until I found his channel, like Metal Gear Solid Ghost Babble. Being a fan of the Metal Gear series, it was an awesome find. He's a very humble guy and fun to watch, so yeah. And then there's Infinite Duo, who are laid-back guys that post comedic stuff as well as gaming videos. They also make tip videos on popular titles, and take the time to reach out to other channels, so props where it's due in that respect. And as always, I gotta thank everyone who subscribed and offered their continued support. You know who you are, you beautiful bastards, you. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. These tips have helped me out over the course of my YouTube venture, and like I said, if you want to see more videos like this, I'll be happy to make them. And as always, for more rants, news, chats and reviews, subscribe to Wise Dragon. You would be wise to do so.